to be with the men, the fighting forces of government. I should show my face there. Hindi naman pwede yung peacetime ka na pumunta. Hindi naman yung uh, sabihin mo na you place yourself in jeopardy. But somehow during the fighting, you should show yourself to, that you are with, uh, with one uh, in uh, our desire to protect the republic. Sir, do you think it's really a destiny for you not to proceed there, sir? Kasi, of course, well, this is the second it, time. The last yes. time I was not able to go in because also of the weather. Dito naman ngayon, uh, ganun rin ang nangyari. And uh, you were circling uh, many times, but we could not penetrate the... Well, it was really squall. So we waited in the camp uh, for the, the skies to clear up, but it was raining the whole day Samarawe. Sir, from the reports from, I mean, from the reports we get from the ground, sir, are we planning to leave the martial law before the sauna, sir? No, and uh, it's the armed forces and the police. I consulted them and said, uh, it was critical. Ang magsabi sa akin na hindi na critical, ang armed forces, pati ang police. I do not have an independent study of what, how things are on the ground. It's not my job. And I, I cannot do it physically even. So I have just to rely on the word of the armed forces and the police because they are the one keeping this republic uh, healthy and alive. Pag sinabi nila wala ng delikado and everything is okay, then that is the time that they will leave martial law. Otherwise, yeah. Okay, salamat. sa Mechanized Brigade. Uh, in the meantime, I can see if we can... But we also have a limited number of uh, hours here and uh, we have to take off before sunset. I think it's something wrong with the runway. Well, anyway, uh, uh, we have about uh, an hour or a little over 30 minutes. I hope we can uh, go there inside uh, Marang. But uh, just to land there, I'm already satisfied. Hindi naman ako magpwede magpakita dito na this time na. Uh, I should be here when the, when the flag is uh, in battle. At least uh, to show my camaraderie with the troops, the men and women of the armed forces of the Philippines and the Philippine National Police. Sir, nagkakwentuhan po kayo ni Sir kanina. Nabanggit niyo, ano po, you came here to die? Yes, uh, kasi hindi kami, maghirap kami mag-land. Uh, and uh, sabi ko, uh, kung yun, ito na ang panahon ko, I've come here to die also. 
at eh, magpupunta ka dito magpakamatay. Well, any day is a good day to die. Biglang dumating sa Iligan City si Pangulong Duterte kanina. Binisita ng Pangulo mga sundalo ng 2nd Mechanized Infantry Brigade sa Barangay Maria Cristina. Nakasuot pa siya ng military uniform. Pinangakuha niya ang mga sundalo ng kanyang walang sawang pagsuporta sa kanila. Dapat sana ay papunta ng marami ang Pangulo pero hindi natuloy ito dahil sa masamang panahon. Sa litratong ito, makikita ng uh, bakat ang uh, bulletproof vest ni Special Assistant to the President, Bongo. Pero ang Pangulo, tila sando lang ang suot sa ilalim ng military uniform. Makikita rin may mahabang baril na dala ang Pangulo. Kagabi naman ay inaprubahan ng Pangulo ang pagbibigay ng conditional pardon sa sampung inmate na palaya na ang sampo mula sa New Bilibid Prison. Mga consultant sila ng National Democratic Front at binigyan daw ng conditional pardon bilang bahagi ng pagpapatuloy ng usaping pangkapayapaan. Matapos ang pagpapatupad ng batas militar sa Mindanao, mas tumaas pa ang satisfaction ratings ni Pangulong Rodrigo Duterte. Base sa survey ng SWS noong nakaraang buwan, nakakuha ang Pangulo ng positive 66 na satisfaction rating. Katumbas ito ng very good. Nananatiling pinakamataas sa ang nakuha niyang grado sa Mindanao. Pero pinakamalaking pagbabago ang sa Visayas na tumaas ng labing isang puntos. Ginawa ang survey isang buwan matapos ideklara ang martial law sa Mindanao. Ayon sa palasyo, patunay ito na patuloy na patitiwala ng publiko sa Pangulo. The data collection concluded on June 23 to 26, a month after PRRD placed the whole island of Mindanao under martial law. And it shows tacit of public support to the President's action following the rebellion in Marawi. Nagtala ng bagong personal record high si Pangulong Duterte sa kanyang net satisfaction rating. Sa pinakabagong survey ng social weather stations, positive 66 Oh, very good ang kanyang net satisfaction rating. Mas mataas ang 3 points kumpara sa nakuha niya noong Marso. Sa 1,200 sinurvey nitong June 23 hanggang 26, 78% ang nagsabing kontento sila sa performance ng Pangulo. 12% naman ang hindi. 10% ang hindi makapagpasya. Sa kabila ng bagong personal record high, bumaba naman ang 12 points ang kanyang net satisfaction rating sa Mindanao. Pero katumbas pa rin ito ng gradong excellent. Ayon sa Malacan niya, ang mataas na net satisfaction rating ng Pangulo ay pagpapakita ng kumpiyansa ng publiko sa kanyang liderato. At dahil ginawa ang survey sa buwan matapos ideklara ang martial law sa Mindanao, ibig sabihin daw nito ay sinusuportahan daw ng publiko ang deklarasyong ito. A total of 10 political prisoners have been released after receiving presidential pardon from President Rodrigo Duterte. One of them is 56-year-old murder convict Jose Ongsod. Jose says he doesn't know how to start a life outside of prison after his 20 years in detention. What's more sad is that his parents died while he was in prison. He now plans to search for his siblings in their hometown. Jose is one of the 10 members of the National Democratic Front of the Philippines released last night after receiving a presidential conditional pardon. They feel both happy and sad as more than 400 of their colleagues are still detained. 120 of them they say are sick, while 30 are already in their old age. Ang kulungan ng parang sardinas, ilang oras na matutulog. Mga limang oras, pabalitan ng 30 din para may pupwestuhan lang sa higaan. They are members of the second batch of NDFP detainees released under the Duterte administration. With their pardon, it's the condition that if they violate the law again, they will be sent back to prison. They're also calling on the government to pursue the peace talks. This is amid a statement of President Duterte that he will only allow the resumption of the peace talks when the rebel group NPA stops in extortion activities. It's plain extortion. And if they want to, to, to continue to resume the talks, one of the things that I would demand would really be that they stop 
the extortion activities. The newly released NDFP prisoners deny the accusation, saying they never commit extortion. Sa panig ng revolusyonary ng tulisan, wala siyang ginagawa extortion, kundi bahagi ng kanyang paggobyerno. Miral na yan sa mahabang panahon. Kung ayon niyang ituloy, edi siyempre, uh, siya ang nagpasya nun. Grace Kasin, UNTV News and Rescue, Quezon City.